Okay, for us start today's RetroBat setup guide. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So, I recently put a post in my community asking what guides you would like to see next and undoubtedly RetroBat won. Now, what we're going to do today is regularly ask how to actually swap discs within RetroBat. So, say for example, you're in game and it's asking you to swap disc over. How do you do it? So, of course, nowadays there's particular files that we need where we don't necessarily need to swap discs over. But let's just say, for example, there is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use an Amiga game just here. We got an Indiana Jones game. Now, believe it or not, this Indiana Jones game in the Fate Land has actually got 11 discs. So what I'm going to do is put these into the correct place. So if I go into the RetroBat directory, if I go to ROMs and I go to Amiga 500, we're going to put all 11 discs inside of that directory. And now we can open up RetroBat. Okay, and here we go. So we got disc one just here and goes down to disc 10. So let's open up disc one. Okay, so here we go. It's now asking us for disc 2. So in order to swap discs over, change discs, I'm going to press F1 on my keyboard. So I can also access this RetroArch quick menu by pressing my Xbox button. But from here, all we need to do is just go down to disc control. I'm going to go down to eject disc. I'm then going to go to load new disc. And it's asking us for disc 2. Here's disc 2. I'm then going to go to insert disc. And it's asking us to insert disc 1 again. So by pressing F1 or Xbox button, I can go to eject disc, load new disc, back to disc 1, insert disc. Okay, and we're back to insert disc 2. Now, if I press F1 again, just remember every time you swap a disc over, eject disc, and then as we're adding disc to this, if we go to current disc index, it's going to list the discs that we're using. So from here, I can then just go back to disc 2 and insert disc. And that's how you swap discs. Now, just bear in mind, I've used an Amiga game as an example for this because Amiga games are notorious for having many discs. There are methods nowadays where we can use M3U file extensions and that type of thing, editing text documents for things to auto change, but some people don't like that approach. But you can also use swapping discs with PlayStation 1 games, PlayStation 2 games, Amstrad games, ZX Spectrum games. So the method I've used in this video today can be used for anything, providing it's using a RetroArch core. Anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content also remember that i've covered retro bat to death i'm going to leave pinned in my comment section playlists for retro bat setup guides as where was help guide so if there's anything you're looking for retro bat related it's very likely i've already covered it anyways join me on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro